Cheap and cheerful. G'day, how's it going? Today we're looking at the Xiaomi Precision Screwdriver plus five alternative electric screwdrivers to see how they stack up. But first, during the lockdown here in Australia, stuck at home with nothing to do but buy things online, I found myself building up a huge collection of 80s and 90s toy RC cars. I'm going to be posting a, a series on those, repairing and uh, fixing up those guys just like this one here. It's in need of a lot of attention. So I've got a whole bunch of parts on the way. I'm going to clean it up, replace a few bits, see if we can't get it going. If you're interested in that, hit that uh, subscribe button and when that posts, uh, you'll be the first to know. Now today, what is this? It's the show me or however you pronounce it. Precision Electric Screwdriver. I've reviewed this product before in a pretty crap review about 12 months ago. That got so many thumbs down uh, that I almost gave a shit that it inspired me to do better. So here it is, the Show Me Electric Screwdriver Take Two. So I've been using this thing for about 12 months now, uh, assembling, disassembling laptops, electronics, um, building RC cars. Seriously, for the right use case, this tool is pretty handy to have. A tweak and then just hit the button. But you need to understand this is a precision screwdriver. It's not about undoing really tight screws. It's not about assembling furniture. It's not about how strong it is. So if not that, what is the purpose? Well, when you're taking apart dozens and dozens of screws, a laptop, for example, might have 30 or 40 screws all in all, particularly if you're doing it for a business, again and again, uh, 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 your hand is going to get really, really sore. You're probably going to get arthritis. Something like this, press the button and it'll zip it out. It will do the bulk of the screwing and unscrewing. Behave, baby. Sometimes you might have to manually loosen a screw if something's too tight and it doesn't have torque to do it. But the bulk of that, pulling it out and putting it back in, it's going to save you a whole lot of pain in your hand, a whole lot of effort and a whole lot of time. It's really well made, typical show me quality. It's solidly built. It's also extremely thin. For some reason, the specs on Banggood and AliExpress and all that, they show 25 millimeters, which is just wrong. So yeah, we're getting 15.7. Even if you measure it where the buttons are, you're still going to get about 16 millimeters. So that's about as thin as these come. It charges pretty easily with a USB type C port up here. That's fairly uncommon of these things. So many of them are still using micro USB. Piece of but there's also plenty of downsides that may or may not be a deal breaker with this for you. Downside number one is ergonomics. This thing is about as ergonomic as a fist to the face. Man. The simple symmetrical design makes for great marketing photos. But when you pair it with the human hand, it's just two different worlds. Devices made for the human hand are fluid, organic, curved, supportive. This is none of that. As it is, the Show Me Precision Screwdriver and basically every other screwdriver like this on the market forces you to bend, twist your fingers, to grip the button at the same time as holding it down. So you end up kind of holding it down like that and then figuring out what am I going to do to push it. Surely they can come up with something better than this. Maybe like a pen with a tilt switch on the end, something like that. Because this this is garbage and most of them are designed this way. Most of them have this the buttons like that with super cylindrical shell to fit the battery, I guess. Show Me especially seems to have a thing about cylindrical products. Form over function, a lot of the others are following. If anyone from these companies is listening, please turn around. You're going the wrong way. Downside number two, the bits. Now don't get me wrong, they do supply a decent range of bits in this nice case, but they're not magnetic. They won't magnetize. Lots and lots of weird bits that most people are not gonna use. Overall, the Show Me is a good product. It's thin, with type C connector, reasonable torque, speed, and battery life, and it's a good price. All right, so what's the alternative? First, there's a WowStick F1. Very popular, similar features, it's got an LED light. One of the commenters in my video said it has fast charging and I can see a vague reference to that in the literature that the marketing guy has put up there. But they certainly do not say fast charging, rapid charging, anything like that. What that means, I don't know. As for the battery, the capacity isn't clearly stated in milliamp hours like every other product. On the official material, they say nothing. 
On AliExpress, some sites say 10400 battery. Notice how it doesn't say it has a 10400 milliamp hour battery, just a 10400 battery. Do you think they're meant to say 10440 battery? which is a AAA size of lithium, the same 350 milliamp hour battery used in pretty much every other electric driver. What do you reckon? As for the downsides, micro USB. <laughs> Will it ever go away? For the love of God, change over the top zero. <laughs> Plus, it's as ergonomic as a brick. Same as the Show Me. The Wildstick 1F Plus is a reasonable alternative to the Xiaomi and similar in many ways. It does have slightly less torque though and micro USB, but you do get the LED light and reportedly faster charging. If that makes sense to you, go for it. Next up, two newcomers, the Jake Me Wire 2 and Wire 4. I love these companies' products, manual tools sold on AliExpress and Banggood. Their screwdriver sets, their spudges, man, they make great spudges. This is one of my favorites. And I actually like that it's a little bit longer and doesn't taper quite as much. Great value, recommended. Starting with the Wire 2, this thing is expensive at around 76 US bucks, but you do get a huge 800 milliamp hour battery. That's two and a half times the others. 395 RPMs, which is about twice as much as the others. Eight speeds adjustable, all that stuff. As for the torque, we've got more funny buggers going on. Instead of quoting in Newton meters, so it's easily comparable with all the other products on the market. Nope, they quote torque in kilogram force centimeters. What the heck is that? 2.5 kilogram for centimeters is 0.25 newton meters. Pretty much the same as every other one on the market. The Jake Me Y02 has a lot going for it. A huge 800 milliamp battery, twice the RPM of the Show Me and the Wow Stick, plus slightly higher torque, but at double the price, you'll want to get it on sale or stay to see something that might suit you a little better. Next up, it's cheaper, brother, the Jake Me Y04. It's more reasonably priced, it looks nice, plus it claims 0.3 newton meters of torque, far more than its brother despite being half the price, and it has 14,500 milliamp hour battery. It actually says 14,500 milliamp hour battery. They even show you the battery, and it's removable. Wait a minute, that's not a 14,500 milliamp hour battery, that's a 14,500 size lithium battery, meaning its diameter is 14 millimeters, and its length is 50 millimeters. Still, I like the design of this, being able to quickly change out the battery as an LED light. Unfortunately though, I've heard this thing doesn't even have a brake. What's a brake? Well, it goes, and then with the brake, I can also forcibly move it like that. Now, if it doesn't have a brake, you can have to put it down and pick up a regular screwdriver again, which just sucks. The Jake Me Wire 4 could have been a contender. It's got higher than average torque, high speed RPM, replaceable battery, and it's cheap. But without a brake, you're going to be constantly putting it down and picking up a regular screwdriver to undo tight screws, so I can't recommend this one. Better luck next time, Jake Me. We haven't even bothered looking at the uh, Wowstick 1P Plus, which is literally worse than everything on every level, except it's damn cheap. 17 US dollars posted, 25 bucks Aussie. So if you need to buy a precision electric screwdriver so that you can use it for five minutes, then throw it away and grab a regular screwdriver, I 100% recommend the Wowstick 1P+. Wait a minute. Strike that. Reverse it. If I was seriously shopping for a new precision driver right now that had better specs than the Show Me and better specs than everything we've looked at so far, I'd be looking at the Creation Space 1901A. So what makes this one special? The specs. It's got a genuine 2000 milliamp hour battery. Now sure, they could be BSing on the capacity to add in 650, but fair bet it's gonna be a whole bunch bigger than every other driver we've looked at so far, just because it's got an 8650 in it. More importantly, it's got a full 1.5 newton meters of torque. That's like six times the Show Me and Wow Sticks. Six times. It's a serious drill driver, this thing. Speed is only quoted at 200 RPM, which is lower than the others, but it actually looks faster in the video. How could that be? Well, the others quote 200 or 400 RPM, but as soon as you put them onto a screw and that needs to pull out, they'll immediately slow down because they don't have the guts to do it. But the creation space, given it has the torque, it has the big battery behind it, it just seems to power through it in the shots that I've seen. Plus, it has a Type-C cable and an LED light. So what's the downside? Well, 
bird. It's clearly thicker than the average at 26 millimeters. Robo Bogan here. It's 24 millimeters, mate. It goes at much larger devices too. The torque and consistent RPM is clearly there. Apart from that, it's not the cheapest in the lot, but not the most expensive either. 50 bucks US, 75 Aussie shipped. The Creation Space CS190 gets almost everything right. It's got serious torque, a big battery, it's Type C, it's got an LED light, and while it's more expensive, it's got a reason to be. Here's our scoreboard with points awarded based on features being better than average, average or worse than average. I've tried to be as fair and objective as possible, trying to decide whether it's worth upgrading my show me or sticking with it, and whether or not you should buy one of these if you don't have one already. Overall, I still think the Xiaomi Precision is the best if you're looking for the thinnest with Type-C, but the Wowstick 1F Plus may win you over. If you need something stronger, more torque, more battery life, then the Creation Space 1901A might be worth the extra cost, despite it being quite a bit thicker. Boy, I reckon the Jake Me Y02 is sweet as, just make sure you get the Type-C model while it's on sale. So that's all I've got for you now. I hope this helped you decide whether or not you should upgrade, whether you should buy one if you haven't got one already. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe. It really does help my channel. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.